We're going to begin, though, with the state reporting the number of new cases jumping again. Today's total 373, second highest total that we've seen this month, and the seventh straight day of an upward trend in cases. It's a trend Governor Gretchen Whitmer is very concerned about, especially with a holiday weekend upon us. Jason Colthorpe is live with what the plan is going forward. Jason. Oh, Kim, she's going to be watching what happens over the next 24 to 48 hours to see if possibly some rules may have to come back into play because the governor obviously concerned trying to make sure that these few hundred cases we're seeing in Michigan don't absolutely skyrocket into tens of thousands of cases that they're seeing in Florida, Texas, and California. In the meantime, she's also rolling out what she has in mind for students come this fall. We can't let our guard down. We can and we must get this under control now. Pointing to seven straight days of spikes in COVID cases in Michigan, Governor Gretchen Whitmer saying Tuesday that moving the state to phase five was off the table and she's urging people to take it easy this 4th of July. We cannot play fast and loose with the rules. I'm hopeful that this weekend, Michiganders will choose to celebrate the 4th of July safely with regard for their neighbors and their families. She's also planning on students physically returning to school in the fall with the help of a 25 member advisory council and 256 million new budget dollars from her capital colleagues. She's supplying districts with PPE, staff and technology to be ready for anything. Every school district must develop three plans, a phase three plan that is fully remote, a phase four plan with a very strict and required protocols and phase five plan with a more relaxed protocols and additional flexibility. These requirements and recommendations will not always be easy to implement, but they're absolutely necessary. We actually had a plan that's very similar already in place, and so we were excited to see what she shared today. Leaders from districts across the state are already reacting. We're ready and prepared to do exactly what she said, uh, face masks, social distancing, smaller class sizes, all those things. So it was good to see that plan. West Bloomfield, by the way, actually getting a lot of applications from families to move their kids to exclusive online learning. We'll have to see how that ends up playing out statewide. The other headline, by the way, as we stand in front of the Cast Tech football field, is the governor is calling on the MHSAA to switch the sports seasons, moving football to the spring and some of the more individual sports like golf, tennis, and track to the fall to kind of help with the COVID crisis. That's a decision that's completely up to the MHSAA and she expects them to make a decision by the end of July. Back to you. Uh, I would bet there's gonna be some blowback on that, Jason, we would, we would expect. Yeah, we're already getting some, by the way, Devin, yeah. uh, including from Dr. Nikolai Vitti, uh, head of the superintendent here in Detroit. Uh, he tweeted about this and I wanna show it to you and read it to you. Uh, regarding the sports seasons, he says, we've already engaged many of our high school principals, ADs, and football coaches, and I stand with them to state the association should not flip the fall and sw spring sports. Football should be played this fall, and we believe the association will eventually agree with our position. Uh, so there is that. And then he also tweeted about the governor's plan overall, and he said, I appreciate the return to learn task force recommendations. DPSCD has already developed and vetted our reopening plan. We'll make a few adjustments to align with the requirements to submit our plan in advance of the deadline. And if that language sounds like the two are butting heads a little bit, it's not the first time we've heard that when it comes to how each see the plan going forward yep. to get kids back to learning. So we'll have to see how that goes from here well, too as we, well. Well, we just have to wait and see what a lot is gonna be decided over what we see happen in the state over this next month as well. All right, Jason, in the number of cases, because state's not gonna be moving to phase five before the 4th of July weekend. The governor did though ease visitor restrictions on nursing homes and other long-term care facilities. Exceptions can now be made for visits with residents who are in serious or critical condition or hospice care or for those who assist healthier residents with activities of daily living. At the national level, 16 states seeing an uptick in cases are starting to halt or roll back reopening, such as in Colorado, where the governor there is ordering all bars and nightclubs that don't provide food to shut down for 30 days.